Hello and welcome to a Half-Life 2 map making tutorial for beginners. I am Mapster, your speaker, talking to everyone at YouTube and everyone else that links this video elsewhere. Thank you for that. Um, first of all, the map editor that I'll be using is called Valve Hammer or Hammer Editor. Um, you can acquire this by downloading Source SDK. Uh, which comes free with Steam after purchasing a the Half-Life 2 um, game um, off Steam. Um, you can download this in the Tools menu. Once you have acquired Source SDK, uh, remember to have Half-Life 2 down here. You have a wide variety of choices, but today we are learning for Half-Life 2 and load up Hammer Editor and it should come up something like this. Okay, so okay first of all um these are the grids you simple top side and front. This is the three D view but since we haven't placed the camera view yet uh, we'll do that in a second. Okay so let's choose the block tool which is the grey block on the left side. Okay, now click and drag in the top view, which is top right grid view. Now this is um, what it'll look like from the top. And on the other views will be what it'll look like on the side. Okay, now click and drag to the size that you want. This will be a very large map. But since it's just your first map made, it won't matter too much. So you can make it as big as you want. And now once you've made how big you want it to be, press enter and it'll end up as a red box. Okay, next select the camera tool which is a red camera on the left side. Click and drag and it'll come up with a 3D view. Now it won't look like too much um, at first. Um, normally it'll come up with different coloured sides. Um, if it's your first time using the editor. Okay, click on camera and go 3D textured and it should come up with a random texture. It might not come up with the same texture as me but um, yeah, you get the point. Okay, anyways, click the select tool which is the arrow um, on the left toolbar. Okay, click on the square on the 3D view or on the 2D views, it doesn't matter. And go control H and type in negative 12 it's already there for me, but it might be 32 for you. Um, press enter, or OK if you like. And this makes it hollow. Now, when you make something hollow, it's basically like the real world situations. It makes a hole in the middle of the square, or whatever you made. So now, if we go inside. So now, how it's got um, all, the, all the rooms now. This will be where your battle will be where you'll run around in and that. Okay, now select the select tool um, and select the box again. Now this will be um, when you select something, the walls, the ceiling or the floor, it will select everything. That's because you made it hollow from a single box. Now simply go control U and then select all the sides um, by holding down control. So that we can texture them. And then on the right side, under texture group, click on browse and it'll come up with a wide variety of textures that you can choose from. Um, I'm just going to go with brick wall 003A. Um, and then click on the current, apply current texture on the left side. And then select everything else that you want to choose to texture. I'm just going to do random textures at the moment, just run through quickly. Okay, um, now this is what everything looked like without lighting, kind of. It'll look brighter in the game since so there's no lights, but we'll put them in later. Okay, anyways, um, click on the texture tool, which is Shift E uh, as a hotkey. It looks like a little light bulb, grey light bulb. Okay, now um, on the right side, how it says info underscore player start this is where you'll start in the game you'll start standing and look around on that 
Okay, now I'm um, anywhere on the floor. Um, and this is basically, um, this is you. Okay, the size is basically um, what it will look like in the game. So you're basically looking at the character as if you were playing the game. Just only it doesn't look like a real proper character, right? Okay, anyways, um, so yeah, that's where you start. So now if we ran the game, it would work. But there wouldn't be anything interesting, such as monsters, guns, lighting, shading, and so on. Okay, anyways, um, again, um, with the entity tool, uh, shift the, um, go into the 2D views, and click on the, um, on the 2D views, here, and select where you want to place a light which is where all the light will come from. Everyone knows what the light is. Um, anyways, select it and it should come up on the 3D view with an X 